What's going on guys? I have a quick video for you today, more of an update on a previous tutorial that I made regarding Dolphin iOS for iPhones. They updated it to support iOS 26 and you can use stick to bug to enable GIT. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, you're going to want to set up side store and stick to bug. If you haven't done that already, I have a guide that I posted a few days ago and I'd recommend going through all that, make sure that all these are good to go. I'm gonna be using this VPN tunnel from stick to bug rather than Stoss VPN. It works the same as uh, Stoss for side loading. So I'm gonna have a link to the Dolphin iOS beta page that you'll use to grab the IPA file. It's right here under manual install under non jailbroken devices. You're gonna click download. and it will download. I've already installed it here, so I'll just go back. Once you have that downloaded, again, make sure you have your VPN tunnel connected, whether it's through stick to bug or Stoss VPN. You're gonna go to side store. We're going to tap the plus button, the, do the non jailbroken IPA file and wait for it to install. All right, and there we go. So now, if we go ahead and launch this, you'll see that it is working. So now, if you wanna add a game, go ahead and put, press that plus button there. I have my game saved right here, Legend of Zelda. Go ahead and we'll, do, we'll move it. You can copy or move it, it doesn't matter. And there we go. So now what we wanna do Let's go to stick debug, wait for it to say connect by app, all four green check marks, do that, select Dolphin iOS, and you'll see the little picture in picture window come up. If you've used Mellow NX with this, then you'll be familiar with that. Go ahead and tap the game you want to run, and then you can see there it says you are safe to close picture in picture window. So go ahead and do that, and there we go. Can rotate this if you want. There we go. Getting some stuttering, probably shader compilation. I haven't really adjusted any settings at all. So if you wanna go ahead and do that, um, if you have a better device than this iPhone SE 3, then you should probably get better performance as well. But that's really all there is to it. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention in my other tutorial for side store that I did put in the description, but I just wanna mention here, um, you can side load and enable uh, JIT using Wi-Fi, but also on airplane mode. So let me just show that real quick. Airplane mode, turned on. Can go ahead and quit out of stick to bug. And there we go, see? So if you are out and about, you can go in and still enable JIT. And we'll just start it up once more. Close that picture in picture window. And you'll notice the stutters that occurred on the first boot aren't there anymore. So it was some shader compilation. Um, if you want to go in and change some settings, recommend going into the graphics general Change the compi compile shaders before starting. Enable that. And then if you have a really powerful device, you can use the hybrid Uber shaders. I recommend just doing the specialized ones here. Um, keep the back end to metal. That'll give you the best performance in most cases. And then you can change resolution, stuff like that. You can also mess with the hacks. Some games will crash if you have this first one enabled. So you can try it or you can disable it by default, doesn't matter. 
Um, if the game isn't working very well or has some glitches, just mess around with the settings. It might take some, some experimentation on your end to get everything working properly, but for the most part, your games will work out of the box, especially if you have a high-end device. But that's about it here, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you like this content, and I will see you next time. Peace.